Hi everyone, I'm back with another coach video for you. As promised, uh, these are the rest of the items that I got this summer from coach after um, I went nuts on their summer signature collection. So I just wanted to share, it's not going to be, um, again, it's not going to be an in-depth video like my last one. It's just, there's too many things. <laughs> there's a lot going on here. So I just wanted to quickly uh, do an overview and sort of share what I got. Um, we are going to start with the marine because i love this so much this marine shade is very vintage 1950s to me and i was so drawn i don't even wear the camera is not even picking up the real color it's more this color it's more this color of my cabinet it's it's not not teal i guess teal um it looks a bit more it, it looks really blue on camera but it's not um it's more this shade but this is the Terry shoulder bag um, in pebbled leather, as you can see, very wrinkly, but that's the characteristic of pebble leather. Comes with a long um, crossbody strap, and I love this. This was the first one that I, I was just so immediately attracted to the marine with the gold. So this is the Terry. After that was the mini Rowan. I don't have any Rowans. This is all my coach right now, besides like old ones from like a thousand years ago. But when I first saw this, I'm like, oh my god, look at this cute, tiny little thing. It's like, okay, I'm probably aging myself here, but remember when we were kids and they had those like toy doctor kits with like a tiny little like doctor's bag? <laughs> it's that small. It's so small. Here's a card holder. It's that small. It's so precious it's not even funny and again in this color i don't like um for, for a color like this i didn't want something like a secondary piece i thought it might be too much like i wanted this to be like my marine bag but in the mini rowan like i had to like it, there was no other color that i was gonna get the mini rowan in and like i said in my last video i don't carry a lot of stuff everything would fit in here minus my actually no my phone would fit in here too tight but it would fit um, here, the, everything would fit more comfortably. Um, but yeah, perfect size for me, these two. And from the men's collection, you guys, the barrel bag. The tag is still on it because I'm honestly hesitating a bit on what I'm going to do with this because I love the black and gray. It's inspired by the Louis Vuitton, uh, not graphite, but the um, Louis Vuitton has has this sort of uh, color combination. They totally do. And uh, I've always loved that. Back in the day, I would have bought those items. Actually, I did have items in that print and color in Louis, but they're gone now because, yeah. So <laughs> this is what I got. Um, I love how unique it is. I, I just, I love this bag. It reminds me almost like either a canteen or definitely... Um, a vanity except there's no handle but um there is one flaw there's a significant flaw with this bag which is why the tag is still on and i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it if you can see here the d-rings where the strap is connected and i'll show you the strap in a little bit they fall right in the middle of the side right but the zipper goes all the way almost all the way completely in the back when I first got this, I tried it on. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to pull out the strap now so I can show you what I mean. So it has this nylon um webbing strap which is very substantial, like better than Gucci. I'm not going to again another hot take. Better than Gucci, thicker, more substantial. The Gucci one and the Balenciaga. So I had a Gucci bum bag and a Balenciaga with webbing like this, uh, nylon strap like this. And it was so chintzy and you could tell it was going to fray really quickly. This is so solid. So I'm going to put this on and show a demonstration. So if you're wearing it like this, right? Let's move these guys. If you're wearing it like this, if you're wearing it, it's going to be like this. But to fully open it, you need to fully open the zippers. I'm imagining myself at the checkout or just in a hurry to have to grab my card holder and then 
shut it off and then we're done. You, you can't do it one handed. There's just no way around it because this gets in the way. This gets in the way. So if you're wearing it, of course, it's going to clamp like this because it's around your body. There's no way. And even if, let's say, let's say you had it zip halfway and you're wearing it. It's just, it's not going to open enough. It needs to be opened all the way. And because of this, that's going to be an issue for me. Um, when I'm wearing a crossbody, it's because I'm looking to be... For the process to be easy, to be casual, to be on the go. Um, but you need to double hand it. You need to almost, you need to lift it off enough for these guys to pull away. And then move it all the way to the back. And then open it. But you can't, you can't do it half, half aid. <laughs> you can't half A it. You have to do it all the way or don't do it at all. So that's my issue with this. But it's big. It's big. So... If you're interested in this bag, because it's so unique, I still have the uh, silica packets, it fits a lot. It'll fit, see, because there's still space within the, uh, the cover here, that will still close. Card holder, easy, right? Keys, everything, like all your necessities can easily fit in here. Love the size, love how structured it is. Again, it feels more like a vanity, but because it's for the men's collection, you know, it's it's almost like androgynous. It's 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 really it's really nice. Um gunmetal hardware. Not sure if that's picking up. Gunmetal hardware. The bottom is also in leather. Anyway, this is not a review. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to review to be a review. Uh it also has uh, a slip pocket here. But I know that this isn't very common yet. Um, so I just wanted to quickly talk about it and that major design flaw that is making me second guess. This is not going to be that convenient bag for me. Convenient grab and go just because of that. Um, I have other bags that are far more, you know, one handed zip in and out. We're done type of thing. Um, but I just like this so much because it's so unique and it's compact enough that it's not bulky. Yes. Right. But it's, it's. It's thin enough against your body that it's not too much. It's not like a Rowan. It's not like a Speedy. Um, I'm probably going to end up keeping it, not going to lie. It's probably going to end up being a paperweight or like an art piece that I'm just going to be looking at on my bag shelf. Just being honest. <laughs> so after that, uh, this is the 1941 red that I was saying in my last video that I prefer more. It's more of that bloody red. And I love this. I love this so much. This is the Nolita 15. Um, I added this chain to it. I originally got this chain to cut this chain off. Uh, to, to cut this leather strap off. But when I saw it hanging this way. Because realistically I'm going to be doing this, right? I'm not going to be doing this. I could. But I like it more like this. So I ended up keeping the leather strap on. And um, it's the Nolita 15. And I love this color. I'm obsessed with it. I did get the snap wallet in this soon after I got the Nolita 15, but the shade was different. I don't know about you guys, but I noticed that. I noticed those things. Like, it was red, it was closer to orange, but not orange like Miami Red. But I wanted this exact bluish, pinkish undertone red. This, this, that's what I wanted. So the snap wallet went back, but I love this. And the moment an Olita 19 comes out in this, it's done. It's happening. <laughs> um, next, I guess we'll cover the sunglass cases. Uh, the first one I got was this one for my sunglasses. These are uh, Gucci's that I got on like a crazy sale on Essence. Uh, sunglasses go here. This is from the men's collection. And my reading glasses uh, go in this one. Love the brown very luxe looking. I know it's coach and it's not really synonymous with uber luxe, but I the look of it and the combination is just so good. I what I like about the men's is that I was able to remove the um like the little uh, not strand, but like it had like a little Oh my goodness, I can't even think of it, but it had a thing that was hanging off that you can, you know, you can hang this off of. Um I was able to remove that because this was it was more of a carabiner. It's more of a carabiner clip, uh, whereas this is stuck there. 
So if I if I want to get rid of this thing because I don't I wouldn't hang this anywhere. You can hang it on the loop of your jeans, but I'm not really seeing myself doing that. Um, I'd have to cut this off. So I haven't decided if I want to do that yet. But those are the two sunglass cases. I also got uh, the organizational pouch in the black signature. This is where it's it's a catch-all like lip gloss, lipstick hand sanitizer, that kind of thing. Anything that's long that wouldn't fit in something more compact like this. Anything that's long, um, you know, like perfume, that goes in here. And what I like about the organizational case is that it has this mesh uh, pocket where I keep like band-aids and hair ties and stuff. So it kind of, it, it gets it out of the way and segregates everything. So love that. Um, so now I guess we'll go to the boxy. This was the box case that came with these three. Uh, ooh, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> with these three hair ties. Um, I didn't buy it for the hair ties. I got it for this because I like the glitter. <laughs> and I really love the pink uh, trim here. But what ended up, what I ended up doing with this was I was originally going to cut these off and just use these as um, charms, like uh, additional bag charms. Um, but I ended up like one day I was out with with the marine and I quickly just grabbed this and wore it like almost like a bracelet and then you know doubles as a hair tie so that was perfect so I'm now you know loving these even though I'm really not going to use it as a hair tie but this is great what's in here um it's like it's another catch-all I'm not going to bore you with the details it's a catch-all but like again the shorter stuff that would not that you know it would be too small for this and what's too long for this goes in here. That kind of thing. So there's that. My first boxy. Love it. I want the big one. But I'm kind of picky about the print. This was more of a cor uh, it was a quirky purchase. Like, this isn't like... But, you know, the evergreen floral I love. But, you know, it's highway robbery on eBay and there's just no way. So the, the, the bigger boxy, I will wait till they inevitably release a nice one. Uh... This one, okay, so I'm a December baby, so snowflakes totally resonate with me, the whole thing. I did say I don't use corner zip, but when I saw this with the navy, it looks navy to me, it doesn't look black. It's a dark navy with snowflakes, I had to. And again, this popped up randomly on the last day of their additional 20% off, like two weeks ago. A lot of the old stuff that I didn't know about that I because I was late in the game for coach this year or just coach in the last five years there were bags like the prairie rose thank you miss percival for letting me know about the prairie rose love that print that came back out i didn't catch it on time because i was rushing getting this which was like one left and the purple nolitas and i just had to rush and make those purchases i didn't have time to buy every other thing that was old that i wanted to get because they came in in a flash and they were gone. This was one of them. I ended up getting this for $18 Canadian because it was already clearance 23, I think, 23 and then minus 20, something like that, around $18. I love navy blue, which brings me into actually my first purchase this summer that was not the summer signature, which is the uh, the card holder. I had the Louis Vuitton coin card case in the silver, metallic silver that came out this year. It was defective. Like if, you, if you've been following um, Louis Vuitton videos or the coin card holder from Louis Vuitton, there are enough videos on YouTube talking about it being defective. Um, when you pull this out, the lining will fully come out as well. And that was not acceptable for me for the price they were asking for for canvas. And what I didn't like about the coin card holder, it was too long for what it needed to be. Like, it was longer than this. And when realistically, there was nothing else you could really do with that extra space. This was the right size for me, compact, has the, the amount of cards I need. Basically the exact same layout as the coin card holder. Can hold cash here, zip here, but smaller. And again, in the navy blue, this is the denim signature. And I am drawn to the denim signature canvas. So that was the last thing. Um, yeah, so that's everything that I got outside of the Coach Summer Signature Madness, you guys. And it's not going to stop. Like, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, when I look at 
the other bags that I bought, the more high-end luxury brands that honestly have quality inferior to some of these things. Like, again, going back to my rant about the mini pochette, warning, rant alert. When I still had that new, new mini pochette from 2020 that I bought for 400 something that is now 950 when I put it side by side with this full leather Nolita 15, I got this for $79 Canadian and you touch the difference. And I went to my mom and I said, if you touch these two things, not knowing the brand, and I told you one of them was 950 which one do you think it would be? Right? Like, so... When I looked at my collection, and I downsized a lot, I, I reached a point where it was one bag in, one bag out because of the prices and how unsatisfied I was with the quality. It, I just couldn't justify it anymore. And then the Coach collection, signature collection kind of brought me back in. The summer collection brought me back in and then opened me up to the rest of these. And it's like, you, I, I just couldn't argue with the quality, the leather for literally a tenth of the price of Louis Vuitton canvas. I love Louis. It was my gateway drug. And I will always have a soft spot for it. Unfortunate that I still want bags and SLGs from Louis. But I can't justify it. Knowing that they're going to have issues. A lot of... I, I still bought some stuff recently. Like in the last year from Louis. And already within two uses. Or within a week or two. Issues were already happening, and it, that's not what I'm looking for. I love bags. I love the craftsmanship of bags. I appreciate it. I'm not chasing a brand anymore. I'm older than I what than I was when I first started my my um, channel, and just gained a lot more experience. And I just I love good quality items that I know will last. And honestly, even if they don't last, you almost can't get mad because it's so cheap, <laughs> right? So. I also got into Pollen, so my down step from luxury brands was Pollen. Loved it, couldn't believe the price, and then I went back and I went back home to coach you guys. And this is what I got so far this summer, but I'm sure there'll be more. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Whenever you're watching this, have a great day, and I'll see you again. Bye.